Thank you and uh, good morning, everyone. I just acknowledge uh, Professor Ken uh, Julian, uh, Chairman of the Board of uh, Governors at uh, UDT, uh, Professor Sarem uh, Aljubidi, uh, President of UDT, uh, Mr. Jobber, General Manager of Huawei uh, uh, Technology, and uh, all uh, protocol observed. Uh, it is indeed my honor and uh, pleasure uh, to attend this function this morning uh, to witness uh, the signing uh, of MOU uh, on, uh, on the program of uh, SEED for the future uh, between Huawei uh, Technology and uh, UTT. And my sincere congratulations uh, to both sides. And your cooperation on the development, uh, on developing information, communication, and the technology, uh, ICT uh, talents, is mutually indeed mutually beneficial. And in recent years, China and uh, Trinidad Tobago has enjoyed closer exchanges in e economy, culture, uh, technology, and other fields. And the Seed for the Future program will offer Trinidad Tobago teenagers opportunity to study and work uh, in the Huawei uh, headquarters, allowing them to share updated professional uh, knowledge of ICT and uh, as well as uh, managerial experience. And meanwhile, I hope uh, participants for the program will have a better understanding of modern China while they, uh, they, they are in China, <clears throat> and make full use of what they have learned and experienced to promote China and uh, Trinidad Tobago relations. In the fall of uh, 2013, Chinese President Xi Jinping put forward the Belt and Road Initiative he called, on, he called on the world to inherit the Silk Road spirit, which is peace, cooperation, openness, inclusiveness, mutual learning, and mutual benefit, and follow the principle of ex extensive consultation, joint contribution, contribution, and shared benefits. The ultimate aim of this initiative is to enhance complementarity and synergy of development strategies and to promote common progress of participating countries through closer international cooperation. And last May, representatives from over 140 countries, including uh, Minister Honorable Stuart Young of the government of Trinidad Tobago, have attended the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road Forum for International Cooperation in Beijing. And currently, over 80 countries and international organizations have signed a cooperation agreement on Belt and Road Initiative. And entering the new era, China and Trinidad Tobago economic cooperation has been deepened. And in the last year, the foreign trade between China and uh, Trinidad Tobago amounted to 610 million US dollars, an increase of 16.4% uh, uh, from previous period. And by the end of last year, the total stock of FDI from China to Trinidad Tobago has reached 600 million US dollars. And we have signed contracts valued for 2.42 billion US dollars. And the turnover has reached 1.6 billion USD. China welcomes Trinidad Tobago to take part in the initiative and is willing to cooperate with Trinidad Tobago in financial investment infrastructure construction, and other fields 
under the framework of Belt and Road Initiative. From November 5th to the 10th this year, the first China International Import Expo will be held in Shanghai, China. And it is a significant move for the Chinese government to hold the CIIE to give firm support to trade liberalization and economic globalization and actively open the Chinese market to the world, further to the world. And it felicitates countries and regions all over the world to strengthen economic cooperation and trade and to promote global trade and world economic growth in order to make the world economy more open. In the next five years, China is expecting to import products and services valuing more than 10 trillion US dollars, which provides a historical opportunity for the enterprises across the world to enter the huge Chinese market. And China welcomes Trinidad Tobago government and the companies to take part in the expo and it is willing to explore more cooperation area with you in the future. The Greek philosopher Aristotle once said, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Focusing on ICT, the seed for future program will offer participants a new education opportunity to experience advanced technology and a different culture. It will be a valuable experience for life and worthwhile your efforts. I hope that every participant will enjoy your time in China and taste the sweet fruit of education in the future. Thank you very much.